I see and, um, and hope and pray for, really, uh, an America that remains this, this last great hope of civilization, I hope of Western civilization. I hope that, that what we represent to the world are all the best aspects of, of, the, uh, of the individual spirit. And, and that's kind of an amorphous thing to, to say. But, you know, the, I, I think that better than, quote, nation building and going out and trying to actually by force or any other way trying to establish uh, my view of, a, of democracy in somebody else's country, uh, I want to... I simply want that to expand by example, and um, if my idea of America is a country in which the government of the United, uh, the government in, in is is uh, clear in its understanding what its role is, vis-a-vis -vis the individual. Uh, the federal government has a role to play. It is identified in the Constitution. It's clear. Um, the state has a role, and local communities have a role. I, I just think that you know, if I could ever really transform this country into uh, one that that was much more um, uh, convicted of the idea that, that there are these roles and they're separate and distinct, and, and we should not go outside these boundaries, that the, that the framers of the Constitution knew what they were doing when they established them and that the government works best and, and individual freedom thrives and uh, to a much greater extent when the government is controlled by uh, the document called the Constitution. Um, and by example, by doing that, by example, I think we shed light throughout the world that we are a nation of law. I mean, that's what that really means, isn't it? That whole phrase, a nation of law, not a nation of men. You know, what is the law of the land? The law of the land is the Constitution. And if we can prove to the world that such a thing, such a system really works and works well, um, I, I think that would be a, a, a tremendous accomplishment.